This is how you navigate through your email. The first thing you will see on the left hand side is all of the folders that it synced. Your emails within the middle. And a search bar up at the top. If it can find the email, it will pop up. If it cannot, just click search right here. To start a new email, you can select Compose, or if it's for a specific client that's already a tag to an email, you could also select Compose right here. This does use your agency information. So if you need to find a specific contact, just type in the email and it will come up or type in the name. You can carbon copy, blind carbon copy, select a subject and type out the body of the email. You can use templates that you have also created within NowCerts, drag and drop files, attach files, save an email as a draft, and you have different formatting options. You can also pop this email out. Now let's go over what you'll see in your main email area. You'll see a back button, a refresh icon, a filter, and a way to switch between pages. If you select an email, you will see options to favorite them, mark them as read or unread, or delete a specific email. All of these options can also be selected or used when you select multiple. You also see similar options if you hover over the email. If you select one email, you will see a move to icon, a link to contact, or if it's already linked, a remove link to contact. Again, you will see link to contact here as well. And as far as the move to, if you click into the email, you will see the move to right here. If the contact is suggested, you will see a white icon here. This icon means that it is already tagged. So if we click on it, we can actually see the card. This is where we can view it in NowCerts, view all the linked emails, or compose an email. Another thing you can do is if the account isn't set up, or if it's not tagging, or if you want to update the contact, you can go into the email and you'll see this icon right here, create slash update contact. This will look and see if it can find a match. So this one found a match. Let's find one that won't find a match. So there we go. It did not find a match on this email. So we can create a prospect or an insured. You could fill all of this out. This is also the fields you can update. And then you can click link contact to this thread. The thread is the emails going back and forth. So save changes. So I'll go ahead and cancel. Another great thing is, as you can see it tagged, so you can view it in now search, but you could also just click linked emails. We can also find the same menu just by coming up here and typing in the client. This will take you to the details page of this client through the web now. This is, these are all the threads you have linked. So you can click into here. You can link it to a policy as well. You can create a simple note which what that does is that just creates a note on the client's account with the subject and it will give you a link to this email. Right there, so this is the subject and then you can click back into the email. And linking emails is also very easy. So you can just go to link to contact and link it right here. You can add a comment. Like I said, we can, depending on your rules, we can suggest them for you automatically, 
or we can automatically tag them or you can click right here to show suggestions so there's no contacts so we could just go ahead and assign it it'll refresh and now you'll see it's tagged which you can find within emails right here That was how you navigate through the email platform. Thank you.